I'm back for day two. I just killed it yesterday here, so. And there's a lot of area left to work here. It might take me a couple days, but here's one of my first targets. Got me a dime. Let's see what I can get today. But yeah, if you didn't see the last episode here, definitely want to go check that out. I found a pretty cool silver ring. You know, I've never seen one like that. Look at that, 65. Okay, so we're getting a 15.17. So, this is most likely a bottle cap, but I have dug gold rings on 17 before. Oh, I wonder if such a weird sound. I got a penny and a sinker. So they were kind of masking each other and giving a weird sound. Okay, that was weird. I mean, I'm not real familiar with Canadian money with the Knox, but uh, I think this is 1978. So I think this is what, 10? I don't know, but man, I was sure giving a strange rating. I was getting 11, 12, and then it dropped to two. So. Weird. Comes up a lot different than that on like the AT Pro or the AT Max. So, anyways. All right, well, seems like we're uh, in a nice little pocket here. So, this swimming hole is really paying off. This thing's awesome. All right, let's keep going. So, I think I just got a silver Canadian. If I'm, if I'm reading this right, I think that says 1965, and I'm pretty sure the Canadian stuff went all the way to 67 to be silver, so boom, I think I got some silver. Check it out later. God, it sure looks weird. Is it like silver but it's got like some sort of coating on the top so that's kind of what it looks like it looks like there's silver coming through and then there's like a plating on top of it i don't know maybe this clip will make me look dumb but check it out okay we got another high tone 2931 hopefully more silver of course, it's right in a pile of rocks. Yeah, this might be the mar marathon dig here. So, I don't know. I'll show you the whole dig. Let's see what happens. And the rocks are kind of my favorite place to dig. Because, you know, nobody else wants to do it. Look at that, I see a penny or something right on top of the mud pile. Alright, that was easy. Okay, well, I'm, I'm obviously digging a lot of clad, but I'm just... Trying to show you the good stuff, you know, make this a little entertaining. I mean, I try to show a little clad every episode. So people don't just think that I don't do good stuff. In fact, I dig a ton of junk. So, some of these rocks out of there make it easier to shake. Penny. All right, now we're getting on kind of a roll here. There's a 64 dime. I'll tell you what's weird about it though. I didn't film it because I thought it was probably junk. It was actually ringing up 
a 40 for some reason so yeah stuff's weird must have been on edge or something strange but there we go silva all right just got that silver dime in the exact same spot see if i can Thirty-five, thirty-nine. Maybe it, uh, it's still there. Maybe I just missed it. Or maybe it's another silver dime. <clears throat> so there's kind of a clay layer down here. some muck and then there's rocks so I never can hardly get them in one scoop that's for sure but you gotta kind of get the muck off well, now it's down to 30 31 Yeah, I think I got it. Oh. Boom. Yeah. Alright, we're getting the silver. Look at that. Silver quarter, 1951. Alright, so that makes a little more sense. I guess I was hearing maybe a combination of the quarter and the uh, dime. Look at that, it's got kind of some... Can you see that weird gold pattern on there? Huh. Alright, see what else we can get. Okay, I should have found that. I got a nickel. And then when I moved the nickel, I heard a high tone. Look at that. You got me a 1962 quarter. Really hitting the silver today. It's not old, but it's silver. Another high tone here. It's going as high as 30. 33, I mean. That's kind of really junky. Yeah, I think I have it. I know it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There we go. Are you kidding me right now? Got a ring. And I'm pretty sure that, that is going to be silver. That's awesome. I haven't got a ring yet today. Sure slayed the rings yesterday. So, yeah, it looks like a pretty old a silver ring. It's kind of chewy. And I do not see a mark so far. But, yeah, that'd be... Oh, wait. You know what? Says Sterling ES something.
ESPO. ESPO. All right. Man, we are killing the silver today. All right, let's get some gold. It's awesome, though. What are, what are we at, guys? Like five silver so far? These old swimming holes, man. If you don't have a scoop yet, I don't know what you're even doing. Get a scoop. I can't even believe what I just pulled up. I had like a 910 signal. Look at this. Look at that. So, job core, success, pride, and ring. I don't know. I suppose that's white gold. I'm not seeing a mark though. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to test it. Either way, I suppose that's pretty cool. I do see a little engraving in there, but that might be an initial. Wow. Sweet. Okay, I got a really strange high tone here. It's just all over the place. So it might be on edge. Or it might just be junk. <laughs> Who knows? But that's the fun part, right? Yeah, it's everywhere. 26, 33. Some kind of make up its mind what it's doing. I don't know. It's kind of sounding like junk. But... I just learned one thing. That's why it's so weird. Tell you what. Oh. Yeah. Well, that one's just a regular dime. Alright, I think that's going to wrap it up for the night. I'm hungry and tired, but uh, wow, what a day. And you know what's cool? I still have half of this swimming hole left, at least. I'm just slamming it. So, all right, well, I'm gonna probably do a scratch test on this ring, see if it's uh, white gold. I suspect it might be. Sure came out of there shiny to be, you know, non-precious metals, but never know. I don't know how long it's been in there, but, you know, people don't really swim out this far, so I'm thinking that might be, uh, it might be gold from the old swimming hole, so. It'd be like a 70s ring. 60s maybe too. All right.